Um, he's number two in NorCal under Thunder's Reign and number two in SoCal now under Sosa. And that's not easy. No, 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 not means, at all. That's know? that's a ton of different matchups too, playing yep. two characters. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, a lot of people, you don't see people, even though everyone's kind of agreed, like, you should probably have at least two mains because mm -hmm. there are a ton of matchups in this game. Especially at that level, yeah. Um, uh, and uh, let's get into this match yeah, absolutely. before we talk so, too much. Real Mis quick, Mr. B and Pikmon. Mm -hmm. Mr. B, another NorCal player. Yep. Uh, Mr. Uh, Brandon Dorf. Big uh, R3. I, does he help run R3, or is he just a player for R3? Uh, a little bit of both. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's a Oh, that was a sick I love the footstool. footstool. Good job Meteor canceling it, though. And Pikmon, uh, who cor currently is in NorCal, attending school at Santa Clara oh, University, but is a Washington native. Mm -hmm. um, I can't exactly remember what he's ranked in Washington, but I know he's top, like, three. I'm pretty sure top two. Yeah, absolutely. I've heard, I've heard of the guy. I've heard good things. Yes, very um, good. I mean, I've also heard lots of salty things because he plays Game & Watch. <laughs> but, <laughs> yes. um, but yeah, I've heard that, that he beats people. And uh, it's kind of look like, looking like he's beating Ganondorf right now. Um, yeah, he I does have a solid punish game. Um, not afraid to kind of fish for nines. You'll see him kind of throw out his numbers to get the, mm -hmm. get the odds and evens going. Brandendorf with exactly the right idea, edgeguarding uh, Game & Watch. You want to get invincible right as they're going to up B and then hit them out of it while you're still invincible because there's very little else you can do since he can grab from so low. Yep. Oh. Yeah, edge guarding Game & Watch is no easy task. Mm -hmm. Edge guarding as Game & Watch because of that, super, like, like not very risky at all. So yeah, he can especially just... Especially on uh, uh, Ganondorf. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So he can just go out there... You know, especially because he'll he'll hit with his up B that he's using to recover, and then be able to combo into an edge guard off of that. We just saw that. Nice. And the down tilt. Yep. It's well time. And Mr. B's got to close out this stock before he gains too much percentage here. Mm -hmm. And that'll do it. Yeah, and that's a great <laughs> thing we saw at Brokaw a few weeks ago. Loyal taking down Thomas, doing that. Uh, kind of that like bacon pressure. Yep. You know, to block those out of shield options. Yep. And we we're seeing Pikmon doing that very well. Yeah, I think Bacon is sort of an underexplored aspect oh, of definitely. Game & Watch. Mm -hmm. that it seems very, very strong, but people are using his other also very strong lasting hitboxes. But you can see, like, that's it's really annoying for a character as tall as Ganondorf to have to run through this uh, oh, yeah. minefield of uh, various meat products. But he's doing a really good job of it right now. He landed a bunch of solid hits. Not that Ganondorf has any weak hits. <laughs> That's very true. We yeah. are now down two stocks, Mr. B. Showing some reasonable, reasonable uh, adaptation in the neutral, though. Oh, did have a quick yeah. mishap. Uh, don't know what happened there, but we were back into it, so no worries. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard the players laugh it off. I yeah, think, I think things are going little, all right. Had a little gentleman's agreement of like, hey, what happened? Might as well just keep going. <laughs> exactly. Okay. <laughs> Calls him out. That is one thing. Uh, Always got to watch for that when you're playing Ganondorf. Yep. Game & Watch has limited range. So uh, Ganon just calling that out with the... Oh, oh no! Oh, that, I don't know how that dare missed. Yeah, those the, the back air was such a good option, too. Just mm -hmm. barely didn't work out execution-wise. Oh, the up B. Little bucket break going, here and going on here. Still Get living. Back on the ledge. Game & Watch can grab so far above him, mm -hmm. which makes zero sense. But I... I guess he is two-dimensional. He does quit. That throw would have killed, so. Yep. He doesn't bother testing his opponent's execution. He just says, all right, you won the neutral. That was uh, the rest of it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's rudimentary. It's <laughs> Pretty straightforward bans here when you're playing against Ganondorf. <laughs> Don't uh, go to a really small yeah, stage. Ban Warrior Wear, ban Green Hill. You're good to go. Yep. Both of those stages, so easy to and die off the oftentimes, side. Oftentimes, as you see, he will opt for Fountain of Dreams. The next However, smallest. However, I don't personally like this. This is actually a great Game & Watch stage. Um, the, oh, that makes sense. So I'm not entirely sure. I mean, the, the hitboxes on the sides are still pretty small. Oh, good bucket break. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bucket breaking, one of those controversial techniques because it's, Absolutely. you know, it's like OMS attacking but unpunishable and easier. So mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of people are, are, uh, are salty about stop. that. For Mr. B here, turn things around a little bit. Yeah. We see him applying a lot more pressure than he did in the last game. Mm -hmm. um, possibly a, a bit of stage comfort. There's nowhere for Game & Watch to run. True. So he's always got to – Game & Watch always has to call it right at this point. He has to, like, know where the hitboxes oh, won't be. Oh, look at that. 
Oh my god. Calls him out with a dare. That was legendary. That was such Pick a good stop. Was stomp. not prepared. I like it. Yep. You are not prepared. <laughs> you just got to go for the dirty kills when you're nice. <laughs> when you're Ganondorf. That was actually really close. Ooh, oh, nice. Oh. That was actually sweet. The bacon cancel mm -hmm. into the down tilt into the bacon into the yep. forward air. That was a <coughs> cool combo. That was a Ooh. cool combo. Dang. <coughs> Wizard foot both there hits in the back air? There was a good SDI on one of those bears that I think oh, he, he probably dead. caused him to live. Oh, Be a little popping taunt. off. A little yeah. taunt. Okay. Two stock lead, and he's taunting on Pikmon. I met Brandendorf uh, at boss one or something like that. Uh -huh. Boss two. And, uh, yeah, he is oh, he's going for these dares. not at all opposed to feeling himself. <laughs> <laughs> He wants to, to ride the emotional momentum that he gets from oh, winning. Good job weaving through those uh, bacons. Okay. No jump. I think he was nice. dead if he didn't hit him. And Ooh. he's dead now. Ooh, another dare. Uh, now that, that dare hitbox Outstanding box is, game for Mr. B. Yes, yeah, seriously. <laughs> applied so much pressure yes. that was missing from the games mm -hmm. before. Huge before momentum me. shift. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, that, that down air on Game & Watch's up B... I think it lasts for long enough, and it's such a big hitbox. Pretty much, I, I think Game & Watch pretty much just has to tech it. Yeah. Um, you can meteor cancel, it, uh, meteor cancel it, but when you're at a higher percentage, it's You'll much, be much harder. Right. Much, much harder. Because I think you have to wait 15 frames after I'm after hit sure, stun. Yeah, you can't it's a like, long time. You can't just like spam it or by any means. Yeah. It's much slower than, than melee as well. You have to wait like 15 frames after you get hit. Mm -hmm. So with a launch speed that high, you're just dead. And Man. even though Pikmon has been here in NorCal and Mr. B is a NorCal player, I'm actually not entirely sure if these two have played yet. Mm. Um, this I have to ask Prem. He's kind of our matchup guy. This um, is a second Dave's Stupid Rule exception, isn't it? They played uh, on Battlefield Game 1, right? I'm not entirely sure. I, can't really remember. I think so. I think they did, yeah. Yeah, I definitely remember this platform <laughs> layout, if nothing else. But uh, Mr. Oh, B spacing. has turned it on. He was definitely letting uh, letting Pikmon walk all over him in game one. And I wonder if quitting out was sort of a, okay, I figured it out. This is easy. Yeah. I think, you know, he collected himself, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over. Let's move on to the next one. He's been doing it. Yeah, definitely showing the uh, the emotional fortitude required. He does need to survive a few more hits. Try to get some more percentage up on Pikmon here. Yeah. And that's a big difference from the first game, too. Pick to yeah. Pikmon manages to finish off that stock. But he didn't go out there for the edge guard at all, mm -mm. and uh, he had plenty of time to do so. So he did, I, yeah. I'm not sure what's changed. I think he maybe is a little frightened. I think the the, the two dares I got him last game. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Getting in his head a little bit. He's, he's playing a little safer. Feeling the fear right now. Oh, that didn't work out. Oh, nice. That was a great fake. Oh, that was almost very good, but very hard to do against uh, Game & Watch. Yeah, I think Game & Watch would have to mess up in a big way for that to hit. Good punish. Uh, until the until the up air. The uh, wave dash back grab on the down B was really good. Oh, wow. wow. I didn't think that dare would kill. Yeah, it was another rocket launch off the top. Yeah. I mean, it was on a platform, but still. Yeah, that's, that's early. There, you know, he did go straight up, so probably no DI. <laughs> Possibly, yeah. But Pikmon can close this out. Yeah. I like you. He's playing stage control now, and I like that. Ooh. Yeah, Brandendorf was, was playing patient too, but um, he knew the, the next few hits were going to be a big deal. Kinda, and this is kind of how you got to play against Ganondorf, you know, like outspace him. Yep, absolutely. Kind of frustrate him in a way. Yeah, Pressure he's a. Uh, he you know, he's playing it right now. He doesn't have very good approaches, and he has zero camping tools. Yeah. So if you play in a way that forces him to approach you, you can get those openings that, that lead to lead to big conversions. Oh! oh! Hitbox extends through the bacon to hit it. Yeah, I like that. Oh! Oh! Okay. Almost got Finally the combo off hammer. of it. The up -E, uh, he went the wrong way off the up -E, though. Oh! Yeah, that was a quick yeah, get-up attack there. Little, little greedy there, that, that side B. Mm -hmm. Down oh, throw, back air. Still got an edge guard. See if we can get this. Does that yep. jump? Let's go. There we go. As soon as and that up B finished, the there was yep. only one way for Damon Watch mm -hmm. to get there, and it was just a matter of timing plays. that dare. Yep. Outstanding. Gotta capitalize on those edge guards. 
Oh, okay. Oh. Get up. Yep. Neutral get up into down tilt. He had enough time. even on game three. Yeah, it's a nerve-wracking situation yes, for both. Yes, it is. Mr. B putting his body in the way of Pikmon and the stage. Okay. Oh. Looked like he got snuck a bear in there, it looks like. Mm -hmm. So, uh... It was good DI from Pikmon, letting him get close enough that that up B had many, many options. Okay. Really good recoveries from Pikmon so far. Yeah. Not, oh. This one's going to be hard. He gives him the proof. I don't know about this. Probably a stomp Yeah, he yep. goes for it, and there it is. Ooh. Another Derek. Game three. Dang. And that was really cool because you saw both players, uh, you saw Brandendorf get beaten down. He got oh, the SmackDown game one. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, game two, he, he, he took it. Dished it right back <laughs> yep. out. Game three, you saw Pikmon adapting back. Mm -hmm. it's starting to exhibit more of that patience, that control that you need to beat a Ganondorf. And then Brandendorf was still able to clutch it out despite those adaptations. Yeah, outstanding win for Brandendorf. Yeah. I that know was... many people, no offense to the guy, like kind of questioned like PR placements for him and things like that. Um, last broke out a few weeks ago, he did drown in pools, unfortunately. Oh. Kind of a bad day for him, but he still has these glimpses of greatness. Right. <laughs> like we saw today. I can understand that. On I think it's very hard to be a consistent Ganon player. Oh, it is. Because it's, it's very much reliant on being able to trick your opponent into letting you in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a, being a vampire, you know? Yeah. You, you got to get him to give you that invite. <laughs> yep. And then you, you kill him for Seduce it. Seduce him into it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you can't do anything unless they, they say... No, go ahead, come in. Yep. But, uh... Let's see, we're lining up our next match here. And yeah, we see more people fighting for that final spot in tonight's bracket. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked yeah. for that. Coming up, we got, uh... So we got, obviously, some great talent here. Yeah, um, even in the qualifier. This is no joke. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh... <laughs> it's only gonna get better. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna see the, yeah. uh... Whoever happens to perform best today. Whoever proves mm -hmm. themselves. Climbs bloody to the top of the yep. pile and from there like they climb to the top of this pile of bodies and they look up and it's mount olympus yep. and they're like oh <laughs> yep. all right now you got to get through the gods mm -hmm. you know <laughs> man how incredible would it be to see like one of the winners of the qualifier take the whole invitation oh i was thinking about that that would be that would be That'd awesome be so you know they like they go through the whole such a test of endurance yeah yeah, yeah. through the the whole all the, the whole trials thing. yeah the, all the trials exactly yeah and real quick for everyone out there tuning in right now, if you do us a huge favor, um, just spread the word. Um, especially for tonight, uh, when we get the main bracket going. I mean, even right now, um, anybody who loves Smash Bros should get in on this. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a stacked, just fun, laid-back tournament we have going on. It's mm -hmm. smaller. It's not going to be, you know, 12 hours of, like, straight Smash. Yes. Right, right, um, right. It's smaller, and, like, we had, I mean, we had, like, Back-to-back -back game threes already. Right. You know, that very close. Um, mm -hmm. And this is only the beginning, so yeah. tweet it. 